Bye. No, don't be singing in. Bye. Amber. Bye. Amber. Bye. Uh, just rest. Bye. Amber. Simba. It's not Simba, it's George the Giraffe. Gary. You need, you need to keep your head still. Hey guys, it's Amber. Welcome back to my channel. Today this video is a little bit weird. I'm in hospital. Hmm. Not for anything that's serious, just to get my old wisdom teeth removed. As I'm sure you might have known if you've been watching my stories, I've had a few tooth infections over the last month or so in my bottom left wisdom tooth. They're, both my bottom wisdom teeth are impacted quite badly, so instead of growing straight, they're growing at like an angle because they're awkward and it's causing a lot of pain. It's ruptured the gum, which means I have a hole. So because that keeps getting infected, which is disgusting, my dentist said I need to have my wisdom teeth removed. Because there's a few complications, I'm gonna, I have to have it done in hospital with a general anaesthetic, which is kind of scary because I've never had a general anaesthetic before. Um, well, apparently I had one when I was a baby. Why did I have one when I was a baby? Mum, come join. So I'm here with my mummy. She's looking after me. Hello. 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 So come, come sit, come sit. So why did I have a general anaesthetic when I was a baby? That was because your um, two adults weren't working properly. I think they were partially blocked. So, to clear them out, to wash them through, they had to give you a general anaesthetic. So basically, when you have your wisdom teeth removed, there's two ways to have it done. You can have it done in a dentist under a local anaesthetic, which I think is what you had when you were younger, yeah. right? Or, if there's complications, you can have it in hospital under a general anaesthetic, which is when they put you to sleep so you can't see or feel anything, which is what I'm having done. But apparently, when you have a general anaesthetic, you need to have someone there to take you home because you're like effectively on drugs. <laughs> And it takes, what is it, like 48 hours to wear off? Oh, more. Yeah. yeah. To get out of the system. Yeah, so basically my mum and dad live in York, which is like quite far north in England, and I live by myself in London. So my mum was like, oh, I'll come down and look after you, but it's like a two and a half hour train journey. So I was like, no, it's fine, I'll look after myself. So originally I planned to get the tube home, which you can't do because you're on drugs. So then I thought, fine, I'll get an Uber home. But the problem is you have to have someone physically in the hospital with you to take you home so I thought okay I've got a plan what I'm gonna do is order an uber say that I'll give them a tip tell them to come inside pretend to be like my uncle or my dad or but yeah that's probably not gonna work anyway I was, I'll get them to pretend to be a family member and then sign away and then take me home but apparently that's not super legal oh it's kind of frowned upon you're not really meant to do that so mummy's here to look after me because it takes two days for the general anaesthetic to get out of your system and I'm pretty derpy anyway so I don't know what I'm going to be like on a general anaesthetic. <laughs> so I've got this uh, gorgeous outfit that I will now show you me getting into. I've just been given my outfit for today, I'm very excited. So we've got one of these gowns to go on the front and then one on the back because I don't want anyone seeing my bum because we don't want to scare anyone today, let's be honest. Then we've got I called them socks and they were like, no, they're stockings, they're fancy. So we've got some stockings, lovely, lovely. We've also got some socks. They must know that red is one of my favorite colors. Look, it matches. I thought that this was a hat. So they said, here's your outfit and then you've got this. So I was like, okay, wow. It's not a hat, it's underwear. So apparently it's a... I think that's the thumbnail right there. What are these? It looks like a shower cap. And knickers. They're like, it's like a, a baby diaper. Anywho, it is now a waiting game. The nurse has been to take my vitals, my height and my weight. Oh, so that she took my height and apparently I've shrunk. Yeah. Whoa. No, so I was five foot three when I was like 10. And then the last time I probably measured my height, I was, I think I was 13 and I was leaving secondary school and I was 162 centimetres, which is five foot three and a half, but my, my internet height is five four. So if, if you Google me, I've made sure everywhere it says that I'm five four or five four point five if I'm feeling extra tall. I've had a good night's sleep and I'm feeling stretched. But apparently now I'm back down to five three, which makes me a bit sad. Well, maybe it's because you've been a bit worried and stressed. No, because I made sure to stand up extra tall to make sure I was super tall. Who knows? Anyway, all of that's been done. I've spoken to the uh, doctor who's going to be doing the procedure, so now it's just a waiting game. It is quarter to one, and I think I will have my teeth surgified, extracted. That's probably surgically extracted. Surgically <laughs> extracted. 
anytime between 1 and 6, but I haven't eaten since 10 o'clock last night, so it's been like 13, 14, 15 hours since I ate, and my tummy is really rumbling, and I'm getting really hangry. What was that? Nothing. No, what was that? I'm getting really hangry. Oh, I thought you were trying to signify drinking alcohol, no, I was like, I don't no. drink. Anyway, I'm really hungry because it's been like 15 hours since I ate. My mum went to get coffee and I was like, if you're going to eat food, please don't bring it back in here because I'm so hungry. So she brings back in a packet of chocolate biscuits, which are my favourite. She just sits in the corner and eats them and I'm literally like, I haven't eaten in like a day and a half. I can smell the chocolate, I can smell it on your breath. Anyway, it's now a waiting game, so... Yeah, I don't really know what else to say. What are your thoughts on wisdom teeth? Have you had all four removed? Yes, that's why I'm not wise. <laughs> oh, no. okay. okay. Oh, give me a hug. Okay. You'll be fine. Okay. I'll be here waiting when you come back. Yeah. Okay. Love you lots. Bye. Yes. Okay. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> Two hours later. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? I'm fine. Okay. How are you? Oh. How are you feeling? I'd feel better if I had the teeth, to be honest with you. Do you want to pop them back in? No, I don't want them in my mouth. I want them in my hand. I pop for a video. Okay, but putting teeth apart? Or to... Putting them aside. Putting them to one side. I'm the one that's got the anaesthetic and you can't even talk straight. So how are you feeling? I would feel better if I had some pizza. You can't have pizza. But hypothetically, if I were to have pizza... If you, right, so you can visualise eating some pizza and does that make you feel better? No, because I can't feel my face. What are you touching? My chin. No, oh, that's your... Well, actually... Yeah, my eyebrow? That's your chin. <laughs> that's not my eyebrow. Unless you've got a beard, that's your... Yeah. This is my... I can feel this. I cannot feel this. I could not feel this. I could not feel this. You sound like the advert for little or oldie. I like, I like that this one. one. But I like this one, but I don't like these tight underpants. I like this champagne. And I like this champagne. But I don't like these tight underpants. We are cleaning my face. I think it looks like I've been crying, but I have not. That is a mistake because they drop water on my face. I just do under your other eye. Is this what it feels like to have less injections? Uh, possibly, yes. Is my mouth still there? Your mouth's still there, yes. You can see it. Oh! Oh. Mm, just do your nose. I think I would like a facial now. Okay, we'll just have to pretend. I can't poke my poke my chin. I can't feel my chin. Poke it. Poke it. I am. Wait. Okay. Let, this is a fun game. Let me figure out when you're poking. Okay, go. Poke it. I am. Shh. Don't want people. <laughs> Don't want to be poking it. No, poke it so I can see. Oh, I can't feel it. Oh, are you poking? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Do you feel okay? I just, I just need some pizza. <laughs> I've said several times you I'm fine. I just, need, they won't give me. Do you pizza. want some water? I would like. If you go on the Pizza Hut website, they have an offer. A medium pizza is five pounds. I would like a five pound margarita pizza, pizza and also some chicken wings Ch and Ch some wings. chicken wings oh, chicken and wings. a cookie dough dessert, please. Cookie dough. Oh, cookie dough. Please. No, you can't have any of that. Please. No, I'm sorry. My mum is neglecting me. I think I'm adopted. <laughs> So Amber, how are you feeling? You got your contact lenses back in. I can see. How are you feeling? I've been cured. Did you raise your eye surgery? Sorry? 
I I was going to say did the do ways that I could be, but now I remember they put in my contact hand. Yes. So they didn't do ways that I could be. No. That was stupid. How are you feeling? I feel okay. <clears throat> Bye. No, don't be singing and. <laughs> Bye. Amber. Bye now. Amber. Uh, just rest. Bye. Amber. <laughs> it's not Simba, it's George the Giraffe. You need, you need to keep your head still. I can take all my head still. <laughs> Why are you singing Lion King songs? No, 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 Amber. You need to rest. It is five hours since I've had the surgery. It hurts a lot. I don't know what they did to my throat. We think they might have put a tube down. It really hurts to swallow. I can feel it like where the little tendrils were. I don't know why I'm going down here, they weren't down here. I can feel it. <clears throat> I've tried to eat some food. They gave me this like within an hour of me coming out and I couldn't eat it. So I've been trying now. So I have managed two hot chocolates because I like hot chocolate. But I had to wait for them to go cold so they were cold chocolates. Couldn't eat the tomato. There was some jelly which has now gone more jelly fried. And there was some nice ice cream is like dark chocolate ice cream but then now i'm gonna tackle this one anyone wondering what it feels like after having your wisdom teeth removed under a general anesthetic initially you feel fine like i think i was singing 99 percent sure i was singing the lion king and i felt fine and i didn't feel the pain and it was great and then i had a little nap and then i woke up and i felt all of the pain and the local anesthetic had worn off and that wasn't very fun and then i had another nap and I woke up and I was hungry, but it hurt to swallow, so I couldn't eat. But then I've eaten now, and it's all good. So overall, it's okay, there's just a lot of pain. But it's worth it because the evil teeth are out. I'm quickly going to show you a little embryo that I coughed up earlier. It looks like a little alien bug. Can you see? Can you see? How gross is that? We are waiting for them to come back with the discharge papers. Oh, also, they check your blood pressure and what's the other one? Temperature, like every half hour. So my blood pressure was high. And it shouldn't be high, it should be low. So they were like, this is very strange. And then it went normal, and then it went low, but now it's back to normal, which is good. But we're waiting for the discharge papers so I can go home and watch some Netflix and eat some more ice cream and chill with mum because I think she's fed up with being here. But yay. Looking forward to going home. I have been given the all clear to go home so I'm back in my normal outfit apart from the stockings <laughs> and my, my, my toes come out. Look, what is this? You can see my little toes and this one the big toes come out. <laughs> anyway. Yes, I went a bit late headed there. Anyway, we're headed home now. Hey guys, this is me trying to smile. It's not really working. It is one day since I had my teeth removed. It's almost... I think it's like 20 hours after they operated so the anaesthetic is pretty much worn off I'm not really singing Lion King anymore my mind's come back to me now which is nice but oh my god there is so much pain <laughs> they gave me lots of painkillers but look how swollen my jaw is so I've always had like an oval shaped face but now it's a square look at it look at how oh sorry I'm so shiny I don't have makeup on because I'm tired but look at how swollen ow Look at how small the jaw is. Look at my baby hair. <laughs> yeah, oh my god. I didn't realise how swollen it would make you. Oh my. I don't know if I suit this chiselled jaw look. I don't think I do. Anyway, I'm up and walking around. But people say it takes like four to five days to feel better. And oh, I'm shaking. I got it. People say it takes like four to five days to feel better. And I can see why. Like this is the most talking that I've done today and it is so painful. <laughs> I can't open my mouth more than this so I can't really eat. 
so all you can eat is like tomato soup and yogurt and ice cream which is good because I like ice cream anyway this is making me really tired so I'm gonna stop recording but I will keep you updated after tomorrow so two days after surgery three days four days five days until I feel back to normal so you know how long it actually takes to recover from the wisdom teeth extraction with the general anesthetic hey guys it is now two days after I had my wisdom teeth removed as you can see the swelling has got worse somehow um, you can barely see my chin anymore I just have like a flat thing the pain has got worse the swelling's got worse um, the pain colors don't feel like they're working anymore the left hand side feels like it is healing but the right hand side I've just got like this throbbing pain here and like it goes up to my eyebrow and down to my collarbone and it really hurts I'm not sleeping because like I said the painkillers I think they're working on this side but they're not I'm on like the maximum dosage so I can't take any more but it's just really really painful um like when I came out of hospital obviously I felt fine because there was like the general anesthetic in my system and then yesterday I was okay but today I don't know it's just really really painful again and the swelling look at it it's just it's just ridiculous look at how swollen it is <laughs> I'm so swollen look if I put my hair here you can see I've got a proper square face <laughs> look like something out of a cartoon <laughs> Oh dear. Anyway, so I was meant to be filming, doing some short films and a feature film within the next few days that I don't think I'm going to be able to do. Just been on the phone to the surgeon who took my teeth out and he said that I bled more than most people during the surgery. He thinks I've bled into the muscles and that's why the swelling's there. Yeah, it's just a bit poo really, so I'm hoping it gets better. Mum! Mummy been looking after me. What? No. Okay. Mum doesn't want to come on camera. I can't really talk much because my mouth won't open, so I think my mum's happy because she doesn't have to listen to me waffling on. Anyway, that's the update for day two after the surgery. I will update you again tomorrow when hopefully I'm less square. I have finally recovered from my wisdom teeth removal surgery. Honestly, the recovery took quite a lot longer than I thought it would. I was told that within two to three days I would be able to work. It actually took me about five weeks for the swelling to go down and the pain to stop and to be able to talk normally, but that's because there were some complications during my surgery from excessive bleeding, which wasn't meant to happen and doesn't happen for the majority of people. If you have a problem with your wisdom teeth and you need to get them removed, honestly, don't be scared. The procedure isn't that difficult and it's not that painful. If everything goes to plan, you'll be fine in a couple of days. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up, comment down below what you'd like me to do for my next video, and I'll see you next time.